Dude. Yo, what up, everybody? Cardboard Moses with you. Welcome. It's about that time for our eBay break. 2019 Archives Baseball, two bucks break, number eight. It's two boxes. Injuries are starting to pile up, so, uh, you know, got to start looking at that waiver wire. How's everyone's weekend? I picked up a little cold yesterday, I think, which you can probably hear. Dude, the Dolphins, man. The Dolphins. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to open both boxes. Uh, dude, I read a stat somewhere that the Dolphins tied for the worst point differential to start the season. Uh, the 73 Vikings also started uh, as bad as these Dolphins have so far in these two games as far as point differential is concerned. Uh, that's true. At least the U won. You know, we, we put a spanking on Bethune Cookman, which was to be expected. Uh, I will say this, though. This is by far the worst Dolphins team I have ever seen. You know, and, and that's including the team that went 1-15 uh, a few years ago. You know, at least that team put in effort. At least that team tried to win. You know, and there were a few games that were close. You know, a loss is a loss, but at least that team competed. Or at least gave effort. You know, I understand that the Ravens are a great team, and so are the Patriots. And, you know, both of those teams might end up being... In the Super Bowl. You know, one of them might be in the Super Bowl. Who knows? But, uh, you know, I will say this, though. The Dolphins' defense, they, 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 stepped it up, they stepped it up a little bit this week. What's up, Gary? What's up, Billy? The Dolphins' defense stepped up a bit. But there was a point in the fourth quarter where we threw back-to-back -back pick sixes. I, th I think we threw three pick sixes in the game. So, you know, th that, that's not exactly helping us at all. Yeah, defense, they, they got their stops here and there. You know, they kind of kept it close. But at some point, you know, the offense got it. The, the offense has to step up at some point. Billy, are you a Cowboy fan? That's kind of what it looks like. We play the Cowboys uh, this week. And honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if we beat the Cowboys. Dolphins are funny that way. You know, just just when you think we can't get any worse, 
we probably will get worse, or we'll turn it around and beat a really good team. I, I also like the fact that we're playing on the road this uh, this weekend, because clearly playing at home has not helped at all. So, you know, hopefully a change of scenery will help us. I, I, I do expect us to lose by at least four touchdowns, though. This is by far the worst Dolphins team I have ever seen. It's it's not even... It, it hurts to watch. It really does. You know, all I look forward to now is my fantasy football. Like as far as Sundays and football in general are concerned... I could I I've I've I've, I've been I, I, before the season even started. I I gave up on the Dolphins. I, I knew we weren't gonna do anything this year. Uh, Billy, if you could speak English, that would help. I don't know what you mean by that. If you mean we're gonna go zero and sixteen, probably will. Wouldn't surprise me. All right, let's see what we got here. You know they they they've been putting Rosen in at uh, at quarterback like in the fourth quarter like already once the game is beyond reach, uh, and not for nothing. But when he gets in the game, I mean we're obviously down by you know four or five touchdowns or whatever at that point. So he's slinging the ball. I think I think Rosen might give us the best chance to win. I mean, I understand we're tanking right now, but like at least if we're gonna tank, let's see what we got out of Rosen. You know what I mean? Like let, let's at least see what we have there. If he's not the franchise quarterback, well then at least we can you know add that to things we need to take care of in the off season, because clearly Fitzpatrick is not the answer. Uh, Andre Dawson exposed autograph here. Very nice. Uh, no, this is not a new mat. We've uh, we've had this. It's actually pretty dirty. We need we need to order some new ones. Maybe even sell them. I've been telling Jason to do it, but. The dude has plenty on his plate right now. Larry Dierker. Astros autograph. At least they're not umpire autographs. Those suck. You know, Fitzpatrick is, is... Is and will always be... A backup quarterback. Like, he is not a starting quarterback. And what's frustrating, too, is, like, our O-line gave him time to throw the ball. Like, there were times where he had time to get rid of that ball, and he just did not do it. Like, he, he cannot move up in the pocket. Like, he has no mobility. It's just, it's, it's, it's really frustrating to watch. Like, at least throw the ball away. Like, at least do that. Like, I thought he went to Harvard or something. He's supposed to be a smart guy. But whatever, man. This Dolphins team is just in a, a complete atrocity. You know, and I'm hoping we can get, uh, you know, some players that don't want to be there. Hopefully we can get them out of there. Get some more draft picks. You know, the way things are right now, we're probably going to be fielding a college team next year. Yeah, and it's uh, not far-fetched to say that I'm pretty sure a good portion of college teams could actually beat the Dolphins in, in a football game. Like, it's it's gotten that bad.
Yeah, hopefully we can get rid of Fitzpatrick because he clearly doesn't want to be there. You know, I'll take a second and a third round pick for him. We're asking for a first round pick and like something else. I don't know what that something else is. Maybe a little strange or something. I don't know. But I'll take a second and a third round pick for Minka. And while we're at it, we should get rid of our other talent. You know, get get rid of Rashad Jones. You know, he's he's still a solid, solid uh, safety. You know, send him to a contender or something. For the Expos, which are the Nationals, Jose Vidro with the auto. You know, here, here's a here's a crazy thought. I and uh, you, know, you know, imagine here with me. I think the reason we're not playing Rosen is because Rosen might actually win us a game or two, which would be counterproductive to what we're trying to do, and that is tank and lose as many games as possible. So, so I think that's why we're not playing Rosen. Because he probably gives us the best chance to win. And the uh, Dolphins ain't trying to do that. Taekwon Walker of the D-backs to 25. That, you know, that, that Marino curse is no joke. And for the Brewers, Gorman uh, Thomas. Very nice. Speaking of receivers, yep, Preston Williams, he is doing his thing. You know, we got a few bright spots. Uh, Kalen Balaj, as much as I like the kid, we, 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 we got to stop giving him the ball. You know, he he, 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 he 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 really can't catch the ball, and he you know he has nice explosiveness to him, but like I don't I don't really like his vision. You know I, I think it's time to part ways with that guy. And you know give the rock to our other rookie uh, running back that we have. Uh, I forget his name. Uh, Miles Boykin, I think is his name. He had a good preseason. You know, why not give him the rock? Or, here's an idea. Give the ball to your uh, best running back, and that is Kenyon Drake. Oh, my God. Well, the, why, oh, man, craziness. Mike Gesicki, who's supposed to be our number one tight end, he saw like two targets. Yo, you know what? I'm done talking Dolphins. Okay, recap here. So we have uh, Gorman Thomas Brewers autograph. Jose Vidro of the Nationals, Exposer Nationals. Larry Dierker Astros and the Hawk Andre Dawson. 18 of 50 autograph. Very nice. And that's going to do it for the break. Thank you, everybody. We'll get it out to you.